Good afternoon, friends. I'm Dr. Manjinder Sandhu, Principal Director of Cardiology at Max Hospital Gurgaon and Max Smart Super Specialty Hospital Saket. The first myth which we are going to address today is that all blockages seen on angiography need to be stented or a bypass surgery is to be done. Well, let me clarify that not all blockages that we discover on angiography need to be stented or need a bypass surgery. There are multiple factors which we base our decision on. First of all, you must have symptoms or a positive stress test showing a large area of the heart at risk of the blockage. If the blockage closes down, that area gets damaged. So this is the first number one that either symptoms have to be there or a test like stress thallium or stress echo showing significant ischemia in a large territory. Number two is that the blockages have to be significant. That means definitely more than 80%. And uh, sometimes uh, if we are in a doubt uh, for a borderline blockage, we have other things like intravascular ultrasound or uh, FFR, fractional flow reserve. These help us in either objectively quantifying the degree of blockage and uh, thus helps us in determining not by our own subjective experience but by an objective tool that whether this blockage needs to be opened up or not. Also blockages which are in side branches which are small in size or very much ahead in the artery where not much of an artery is left. So such kind of blockages also need not be opened. So remember all these facts next time if you are having an angiogram what is to be done and how is the decision to open is being taken and in case of any doubts you can reach out to me and my team for a second opinion thank you subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest healthcare updates